Hi, I thought I'd share a utility with you folks that I use every time I fly in FS2020 called VFR Map. It's a super small program that you run while you're running FS2020 and allows you to use a browser to view a nice map while you're flying. Since it uses a browser, there's no software to install on the device that you'll have the map running on. I use it on an iPad, but you can use it on any device that has a browser such as a smartphone or tablet or laptop. iOS or Android is fine, it's OS agnostic. This page is over at MSFS Add-ins and I've linked to it in the description. There's a nice install guide on the page here, but we'll run through that process in a minute in the video. For now, click on the download button and that'll take us to Git. Down here on the page is the zipped exe file that we want, so click on that and download it. Now I click on the downloaded file at the bottom of my Edge browser here and it opens a zip file with WinRAR, which is also linked in the description. I already have an explorer window open for my desktop, so I just drag and drop the exe file into my desktop. You can put it wherever you like, but for our purposes, the desktop will do. Here it is on my desktop, and if I run it without FS2020 running, it just opens a window and then closes it and ends. FS2020 must be running for the VFR map to run. So, let's launch FS2020 like so. I use the Jumpstart application to launch it so it skips the press any key screen for me. Once in FS2020, I go to my world map and I have a flight saved for this demo, so we'll load that up and we click on fly. Once the sim is loaded and we're sitting at the ready to fly screen, we can do the next step and that step is to find out what the IP address is for our machine. Generally, this won't change so you only need to do this process once. Subsequent runs of the sim and VFR map can use the same IP address. In the event that you can't connect to VFR map when you were able to previously, just get the new IP address using the same process I'll show you here. Hit your Windows key to bring up the search bar and type CMD and hit enter to bring up a command prompt. Once the command window is open, type ipconfig and hit enter in that window. A bunch of data will be displayed. What is shown here and the amount of data will vary by machine, but what we're looking for is this line item here, IPv4 address, that I got to by scrolling the window back a little bit. Write this IPv4 address value down. It will most likely be 192.168.0. some other number. In my instance here, it's 84. Yours will most likely be different. Now that we have the IP address, let's run up the VFR map utility that we downloaded like so. Now we can see it's running and the window for it stays open since we have FS2020 already running. Click on FS2020 to make it the active application and let's get over to our browser window. For this demo, I'm using my iPad, but as previously stated, any device with a browser on your network will do. I put the IP address into the address bar, followed by a full colon and then the number 9000. This last number indicates a special port number that VFR Maps uses. And now we have a map of the location of where my aircraft in FS2020 is located. I can pinch my display to zoom in or out, as well as reposition the map with a touch and drag gesture. We start the simulator and we can see the values at the top of VFR map window on the iPad start to update. There's a slight propagation delay between the iPad and FS2020. It's always just slightly behind the actual location and values that the sim is using. But as you can see, it tracks my position as well as displaying heading, trim values, airspeed, vertical speed, and flaps. As I turn to the west, you can see the map is getting updated as my position and heading change. One thing that I find this very useful for is slewing. If I want to get across the map quickly using slew, the map really lets me see where I'm at and where I am relative to my destination. Let's say I want to head over to the little farm town of Moor Park over here to the west. I can slew over to that general direction and the map will show me the area and I can easily find it. I hope this utility is of use to you folks, and as always, if you didn't like the video, please hit dislike, but if it was of interest, please hit like, that really helps me out. And that's it for this video, I'll see you in the next video, and until then, take care.